So if your browsing habits are anything like mine, you probably have a browser open with like a million different tabs because you're gonna get to them later, right? Right. It's slowing down your computer's processing speed to the point where everything's running slow and you're hampering your productivity. If only there was a way to make your Google Chrome faster so that you weren't slowing everything down. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna show you on this video, how to tweak your Google Chrome settings so that it runs faster and you're not slowing down your computer. So I've got my Google Chrome open and the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go up to the address bar and type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. This is gonna bring you to Google's experimental features page that you can turn on uh, different features on and off. First thing I wanna tell you is that there's a warning at the top saying that by enabling these features, you could lose browser data or compromise your security or privacy. So with the feature that we're gonna enable, I'm not too worried about this. I've had it enabled for a while. I haven't had my data compromised or stolen as far as I'm aware. So um, just keep that in mind. Any other feature that you want to enable on this page, there is some risk to it. Use these features at your own risk. We're gonna be okay though in this, in this scenario. So we go up to the search bar up here and we're gonna type in freeze. And this is gonna bring up the tab freeze experimental feature. By default, this is set to a default setting and it tells Google to turn this feature on and off whenever it wants to. But if we wanna make our computers faster without losing any of the tabs, I want you to click on this arrow and I want you to click uh, enable freeze, no unfreeze. There are other options. You could make sure that this is enabled and this just basically keeps the feature on every five minutes. The Browser is going to look at the pages, see what you haven't had in focus for a while. If you haven't had a page in focus for a while, it's going to stop refreshing the data on that page. If you want to enable the freeze, but unfreeze it every 15 minutes for about 10 seconds to refresh the data, you can choose that option too. But in this case, I'm going to choose enable freeze, no unfreeze. There's going to be a button that shows up in the bottom right hand corner that says relaunch. Before you click that, I want you to go and check your tabs and make sure there's no information that you want saved. Um, if you do have information that you want saved, you want to save the work, you want to record anything that you were working on, uh, anything important, and make sure you have that information saved somehow because when we relaunch Chrome, the data is going to go away. So we're going to click this relaunch button. Google Chrome is going to go away. It's going to pop back up. And we see that this feature is now enabled. Enable freeze, no unfreeze. And that's it. So you didn't lose any of your tabs at the top. We see all the tabs are still there. But what Google Chrome is gonna do is it's gonna stop refreshing the data on that page. It's gonna let those pages sit in the background if they've been inactive for more than five minutes. I know I keep tabs open for like days at a time before I even go back to it. I'm sure you're the same way. And this is a great feature to make sure that you're not slowing down your computer, but keeping all of your work open and available for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you found it useful, share it with somebody who may be a tabaholic like you and I are, or actually just show them how to do this themselves. You can um, go into their browser settings, go to the Chrome flags and enable this feature and you'll be their superhero. Thanks again for watching this video. My name is Steve and I will see you